Decembers is a chamber opera about three people, a mother who is a famous stage actress and her two adult children, Charlie and B. B lives in Hartford with her husband and Charlie lives in San Francisco with his lover Bert and this family has become estranged over the years and over these three different Decembers, over three different decades, 1986, 1996, and 2006, they struggle with the elements in their lives and also to find their way as a family and as individuals. Her letters are always full of sheets are replete. Yes, replete with overblown sheets are judicious. Of course, replete judiciously worded bullshit. It was about family, it was about parents and children, it was about individuality, finding your finding your identity within a family structure, especially one that gets blown apart somehow by, a, by an event. And uh, I could relate to all of this very well. It was, became a very personal project for me. And then I, t I showed it to Frederica von Stada, who I immediately thought of, and she responded the same way I did. We were both terribly moved and excited. <laughs> The main uh, character who dominates everything, of course, is the mother, <laughs> who is glamorous, beloved. She's one of those amazing performers where no matter what she does, she's successful at it. For Christmas dinner. Just seven when he died. You were just five. Now I'm twenty-six. She was already a widow at your age. One of the things that the, that's exciting in the piece is there's a secret at the core of it. The children, their, their father was uh, killed in a car accident when they were very young, and they struggled to remember things about him. And one of the most meaningful passages in the piece is a duet between the brother and sister. find out that Madeline's been keeping a secret from the kids, which is that the father actually committed suicide. Um, and she felt that she had to keep it from them as young children because they wouldn't understand. But then she kept it hidden from them their entire lives. And of course, it's on the worst possible night that this revelation happens because it's the night that she's been nominated for a Tony Award and they're all dressed up and ready to go out which is also pretty typical for families, that the worst explosion happens at the most inopportune time. One night without warning, he got up from his chair. It's, it brings up everything that they've held in resentment towards her. It questions everything that they grew up with thinking about themselves, about their family, about their father. It brings up questions of mental illness. It brings up B's struggle with alcoholism, Charlie's loss, Charlie's struggle for acceptance in the family. But the car, the accident. I made it up. Why? 
Understandability is very, very important to me. Not at the sacrifice of musical language and the music leading it, but to, to have, if people are up there singing in English, I want people to be in the audience, in an English-speaking audience, to be able to understand them. So it was a little bit of a struggle, that scene, because that's a moment when people want to talk, they all have something to say and you risk not being able to understand them if they're all talking at the same time. Why did you lie to us? It's certainly, I feel, the most heartfelt piece I've ever written, and musically, uh, dramatically, emotionally, it was uh, very organic to write it. It feels like it just flowed right from my heart onto the page. Mm -hmm.